Okay, turn on power. And here she goes. Okay, so this is my line following robot that I just finished. As you can tell, I got the chassis idea from Dave Cook's uh, Robot Building for Beginners book, his sandwich robot. Uh, same motor he used, you know, the M&M tube and then the Gladware container. Uh, pretty much everything else is different. Uh, for line following sensors, I used four um, IR reflective sensors. Let me open it up here. On the inside, I used a 9 volt battery for power source, uh, Arduino, uh, motor driver, and this is a quad bilateral switch that I use, that I have wired with this transistor as a flip-flop uh, circuit. And I did that so I could be able to control what direction the motors go using one microcontroller pin. Now for line following, I don't use that feature, but I threw, it, I threw that in here just in case I wanted to use this for something else I would have reverse. And right here, as you can see, I brought out a header pin for the RX, TX, reset, ground, and 5 volts to the Arduino so I can just program it by uh, piggybacking it off of a UNO development board and I can program it right on the uh, you know while it's still on the board. Here is the bulk capacitors and 5 volts uh, regulator for the circuits and the motors use the 9 volts. The motors are uh, rated for 12 volts. They get run off the of 9 volts. Um, I use, uh, I believe it's called Tamiya wheels, which they didn't quite fit right. They, they're, they were made for 4 millimeter diameter shafts, which is what these motors have, but they didn't attach to it right, so I went and I drilled into the plastic and put a little, uh, you know, uh, set screw in there, and it actually works pretty good. This one, I did it in one take, and then if you see this one, I, and then this one I did in one take. Sorry, I'm looking through the camera here. And this one, as you can see, I messed up several times, but it works pretty good. I have a, just a momentary switch to start the line following sequence, and then here's the power switch. So yeah, that this has been my uh, project for the last couple months.